Yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen, JJ Prime here, back with another video, and today we'll be taking a look at the Transformers Earthrise Deluxe Class Smoke Screen. So here I am and there he is. So now we shall take a quick look at the packaging. Right at the bat, you have his name, Smokescreen. And he is getting ready. Look at his face. <laughs> Look at his face. He kind of looks like he's getting ready to smoke up your screen and my screen at the same time. Yeah, he's going to live up to his name to smoke up our screens. But anyway, so he's a deluxe class, of course, definitely. He is from Earthrise Warp Cybertron Trilogy, Transformers! Got Hasbro, got Takara Tomy, and you got the Autobot symbol, you got Megatron floating, right? Uh, uh, not Megatron, Galvatron just floating in space. You got the beautiful, beautiful Earthrise artwork, I love that. I want that as a poster, please. And the obligatory product shots, you can see the ring light is reflecting on the box. <laughs> so you have the 16 steps, you have the vehicle mode, you have. The robot mode, unfortunately, we don't get the dark gray weapons for the little guns. They're all blue. Anyway. <laughs> so, and I think that is... Oh yeah, and the warning sign. Just don't eat anything in this box because, you know, don't, don't even eat the guns in the box because they are not delicious and not... Mm, they're not very tasty. They're just plastic and they're not food. So, okay, just don't eat them, alright? It's my advice from me to you. So, that is pretty much it for the packaging itself. So now, I'm going to bring down the camera a little bit. So we can have a closer look at the figure itself. So, here is Smokescreen in his lovely sports car vehicle mode. Now, for this vehicle mode, I have one problem with the vehicle modes because uh, this red P section, this, this top section, is not sitting flush together with the back piece. It's not sitting flush. I, I can't get it to sit flush. So, and every time if I close this up, it pushes itself out and it splits this peg right here. So, I don't know if I... I don't know, I'm not sure whether I am doing something wrong, but um, I do have a problem with this figure, is that this smoke screen is not sitting flush with each other, it's not, no, it's always gonna push itself out, it's not tapping in securely, but hey, what do you gotta do, it's, it's, it's probably a case of, of your, of your mileage may vary, so, um, you might get a smoke screen which has everything fixed and, you know, everything sitting flush. But unfortunately for mine, everything is not sitting flush with each other. So, I try to push it. I try to push it some more, but it still pushes itself out some more. So, that... Hey, hey, it's not putting itself out. So, it's not putting itself out because I actually accidentally split this and... You're supposed to peg this together, but if you do that, then that's not gonna sit flush anymore, so... Yeah, I don't know, I don't know what's wrong with this figure, hmm... Yeah, and also these arms don't even tab into the doors super securely, unfortunately, but... Overall, the, it, the vehicle mode still looks good. It, it looks way, way better than the Siege version of this character. Now, truth be told, I do not have the Siege uh, generation select smoke screen. I didn't want to get that. I already have Prowl, so why would I get repaints? I didn't want to get barricade either because I'm not really a big fan of barricade. <laughs> so, um, smoke screen. I mean, I didn't get smoke screen or blue streak of the Prowl mold uh, because they're just repaints and I didn't like it. I, I didn't like it. So, so there is a chance to get blue streak. Because in Earthrise, so they will sell Earthrise Deluxe Class Smoke Screen in the future, and I can't wait to get him because I need that blue streak <laughs> as well as Prowl. So yes, I'm gonna get Earthrise Prowl. So what do you think? What? 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 Anyway, 
So, yeah. And right off the bat, Smokescreen just changed his number into number 80. He's supposed to be number 38. What up with that? What up with that? Hmm? 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 Hasbro, please explain to me. Why is Smokescreen number 80, not 38? What? What's going on here? I, I, I have no idea. I, I have no idea, but anyway, so, yeah. You got a nice Autobot symbol on the front of the car. Got nice translucent headlights right there. Got some white on the front bumper, which is really nice. Yeah, all around a nice looking vehicle mode, except for the back. It just doesn't want to stay together. So, yeah, and no paint on the tail lights and the, and the, uh, what are these called? Exhaust pipes. So no paint on them. Would have been nice if they painted silver on the exhaust pipes, but eh, it is what it is. It's okay. But let's get down to the comparisons. If my camera will focus and stay up, because my camera is falling slowly. <laughs> so we're going to bring in a few comparisons here. We'll bring in wheel track. Let's bring in uh, uh, Optimus Prime in as well. So we'll bring in the Autobots, see how they look together. And the scale, the scale is really nice. I do like the scale, so there you have that. And let's see, let's test Smokescreen in the trailer fitting contest. So let's see if Smokescreen can actually fit inside Prime's trailer. Can he fit inside Prime's trailer? Oh, he can actually. Although something's blocking, uh, something's blocking him. <laughs> so, but he can actually fit inside the trailer if he wants to, so he can drive out of the trailer, which is pretty cool in my opinion. So there you have that. Um, and here he is with his wave mates, Alakon. So and my camera just doesn't want to stay put. Okay, there we go. Okay, boom. Boom, boom, okay. There we go. So, um, yeah. You have Alakon and Smokescreen. Of course, a car scaling with a beast. Definitely the beast has to be bigger than the car. So, there you go. Now, of course, he does include some weaponry. Uh, he includes this, his main gun right here. And he includes his two little shoulder missiles right here, his shoulder cannons, if you will. Now, I watched Prime vs. Prime's video, and uh, apparently I saw gray weapons, uh, gray versions of these weapons on smoke screen. Apparently they went with blue for some reason. Hmm, I don't know, they could have kept the light gray color scheme for the weapons, which, is, which would have been better, but anyway, so for storage, in the vehicle mode, you have these slots right here for these little guns. Just tab them on there. Just tab it right there, and you have the big port in the middle right here. Just plug that in, and they have the storage for smoke screen. And he is armed up and ready to shoot while he's driving, which is pretty cool in my opinion. So we're gonna take out all the weapons right now and just gonna transform him real quick. So now the doors. Definitely you want to open up the doors, open the doors, there we go, I'm going to bring this section down, just bring it down, like so, just unfold the legs, right here, like so, and just rotate the waist 180, and let's just split the legs right now, and just bring down this little piece, now it does, unfortunately it doesn't cover the whole leg right here, but it is the thought that counts, so, it, it is, you know, it's, it's clever. It's clever. So, you want to bring this down, that would become his heel spur. Bring that down, like so, and there you have his legs all done. So, now you want to take this panel right here. Oh, you want to take the arms, just raise it up, raise it up, and bring them out, like so. Just rotate it around, rotate that around, like so. And you want to take this panel and push it in until that flips out, flips down like that. And of course, you want to rotate his head 180 first. And you want to take this whole section and just bring this down. Just bring that down. You can see these two tabs. Just slide in like so. And they don't go there. Hmm. 
what are we supposed to do now? <laughs> You're supposed to get this tab tabbed into, into that little slot right there. Apparently, on mine, I can't really do it. And just tab that in. It doesn't want to tab in. Seriously. Just tab that in. It doesn't want to tab in. It... <sighs> Help me, guys. It doesn't want to... There we go. You have to give it a little push for it to tab in and bring down his arms like so. And also I forgot to mention that these tabs will actually go into those slots underneath the shoulder. So just tab that in like so. Same thing on the other side so we don't have to show it. Bring down his arms like so. And we are pretty much done with the transformation for smokescreen. And there you have smokescreen in his robot mode. And he actually looks pretty good, in my opinion. It looks like smokescreen. Definitely looks like G1 smokescreen, except for the number 80. It's not supposed to be that. It's supposed to be number 38, but anyway. Yeah, he looks like a mini masterpiece, you know, an affordable smokescreen figure. And hence why I wanted to get this version except instead of the Siege version. Because the Siege version was just... It did not look good to my eyes. But this one definitely looks really, really good. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at that Jay Leno head sculpt. Look at that. That's totally a Jay Leno head sculpt. <laughs> so really, really cool in my opinion. And I'm not sure whether the eyes are blue or green. I think it's green. Or maybe blue. I don't know. Sorry for the random cut there. Um, <laughs> someone was speaking in the background and I had to, you know do something about it but anyway so what was i saying oh yeah the jay leno head sculpt green for the eyes yellow for the head crest looks pretty cool in my opinion his transformation is definitely very clean yeah very very clean transformation it doesn't have much of a backpack except for this thing so and the door wings as well which is pretty accurate for the you know for the cartoon design so now Articulation-wise, the head is definitely on the ball joint, so you can rotate a full 360. Can he look up a little bit? Yes, he can. Can he look down a little bit? No, he can't really look down. And the shoulders can't. If you bring back the door wings a little bit more, the, sh the shoulders can rotate a full 360 if they want to. He can move in and out. He does have a bicep sibyl, elbow joint, slightly over 90 degrees. And he does have a wrist swivel. He does have a waist swivel, which is nice. Uh, does he have an ab crunch? I wish he had an ab crunch, but it's not too detrimental. But anyway, so the legs can move up that far, can move back that far. Can they do the full splits? Yay! He can do the full splits. He does have a knee bend. Deep knee bend. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He does have a thigh swivel as well. He does have pivot at the at the foot, the foot can pivot up and down, and of course he does have an ankle tilted right there. So now let's move on and don't waste time. So we're going to take his weapons and arm him up. So the shoulder cannons, of course, they're gonna go on his shoulders right there, the same place in the vehicle mode. So just tab them right there and of course he can hold his gun in his hand like so and of course he can do a pew pew bang bang and a pew pew bang bang and if you want to you can take some effects parts and plug it into the, his gun or his shoulder cannons or or this post right here this post right here and that's pretty much it on how you want to you know arm him up with some effects parts oh yeah this this post right here as well on his forearm so that's pretty cool that you can actually take some effects parts and plug them in to the robot mode as well and if you want to you know arm him up with some effects parts in vehicle mode sure you can do it if you want to it's your toy just have fun with it so there you go so now for comparison so i'm gonna bring in some comparisons here with Prime and with the wheel jack and you can't see Prime's face unfortunately so I'm going to bring up the camera a little bit so you can see all three of them looking so good together you know what you know what we should do 
we should bring in grapple as well. So where's grapple? And we're gonna bring in ironworks. I know I didn't bring them for the vehicle mode comparison, but that's okay. So I'm gonna bring in some more Autobots right here and just have smokescreen just standing with them. See if we can make this work. So there you have. Look at that. Look at that. They look good together. Oh wait. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more. One more. Cliff jumper. Yeah, there we go. Cliff jumper. Another Earthrise Autobot. They look really good together. I mean, yeah, that's a good team of Autobots. So there you have that going on there. So I'm going to take you guys out of the way because we got one more comparison to bring in, and that is the Alicon. So get out of here, Autobots. And just one more comparison. Here he is with the Alicon, his wave mate. And of course, Smoke Screen is definitely taller than the Alicon, which, you know, which would be the scale between Hot Rod and the Alicon. You know, that, that works definitely. It definitely works. So, there you go. There you have that. So, there you have Smoke Screen from Transformers Earthrise. And yeah, I really, really dig this figure. Except for the fact that the vehicle mode doesn't stay flush. You know, with that, that top portion of the car doesn't really stay flush. Uh, yeah, that, and, I mean, it's the case of your mileage may vary because uh, I watched MGO's review and um, his smoke screen uh, is, you know, his smoke screen is better than mine because, you know, the, the top portion of the car is staying flush. Whereas mine does not, so... Yeah, big problem there for the vehicle mode, but still the vehicle mode looks great in my opinion. Um, I don't know what's the deal with the number 80, it should have been number 38, so yeah, I have no idea. But yeah, overall, it's a really, really nicely done figure, and I am just going to give this guy... Um, well, he's not perfect, so I'm going to give him a 9.5 out of 10, so with a few problems here and there. Of course, he needs more paint and the fix of the top portion of the car being, you know, staying flush, so, yeah, that is pretty much it on what I want to say for this guy, so, ladies and gentlemen, do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss any future reviews of new upcoming figures and old figures, and hit that notification bell down below so that you can get notified and when a new video is up and ready, so, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say, so there you have the Transformers, Earthrise, Deluxe Class, Autobot smoke screen, and this is JJ Prime signing off. Peace out!